And in today's video, I'm going to show you what I did in the background. We're going to make some changes to our structure and plan what we want to do going forward. Maybe have a go at doing playoffs, adding cups and go from there, I guess. Keep on building, building and building. As I said in the last video, in the background, I'm going to update all of the people that was added to the game. That's non-players and players and so forth. That was born in England, but has a region to London to then move that to a nation of London, because that's what we're doing. It's all about if you're born in London, your nation is London. If you have an association to obviously for England national team, you can keep that. That's fine. That was the rule legislation signed by the government. Before we forget, maximum record search, just a thousand, just so it's quicker. Without a condition. I can't find it. And to be fair, even if I showed you, I don't think it's show you, show you, right? Nation. Oh, it won't be nation because we want to change a nation. It will be, it will be region of birth. Yeah, because it won't be city because we want the cities are in region. So it's better search by region. And then what I did is because we was picking up London Derry as well, is that I put in another filter called England, and that allowed me to get the England ones and change. Oh wait a sec, based? Oh no, that's based. But London Nation, yeah, there you go. If they're based in England because of their club like Bournemouth Villa, but their born nation is London. Yeah. So if we go is instead, and we go, so we can look at all of this unlimited apply filter. I don't know how long it will take. I will be back in a jiffy. Oh, okay, that was pretty quick. So there you go. Yeah, nation. These are all London nations, I believe. So that is 15,539 records are now in London. Uh, I wonder how many players all for like our national team have we got to choose from? I know it's silly, isn't it? But a uh, job. Maybe job, wouldn't it? Job and player. I feel like I'm going blind. I can't see us. So, oh, there you go, player. I just want to see this filter number. How many? I think it said 7,000. 7,700. Bit like a half and half uh, non players and players. So, 7,700 that they can choose from. Interesting. We've got 7,700 players to choose from for our national team. Ah, that city of birth. Ah, that's silly. Yeah, because we don't have Harry Kane, do we? So, we want to put nation is London. And that's going to drop it. So we lose out. No, it's gone up. I'm confused. How did it go up? Uh, Kane's still there, but his nation, but his nationality is not London. His nation is London. I don't get it. Let's get into Kane. Hello, Kane. Good picture. I need to do a headshot like that. Because my, well, I put shoulders in it. It just looks a bit odd. Nation. Ireland. Eligible for nation. London. Born in nation. Nation. London. Nation of birth. London. 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 So where does it say England? Did I change something when I was doing for London stuff? But does that mean he's now eligible to play for London, not England? International data. But I don't see anything about England, right? Birth. Nation declared for London. Yeah, I must have changed something by accident. I probably didn't take into account people like Harry Kane. It's changed it all. Oh, well, it's fine. I mean, it's all about the structure of the nation and for divisions, right? And not for players so much, but that's fine. So when we go into a game, Harry Kane should be in the London team and not in the England team. We'll have to have a look out for that one. What else did I do? Oh, yes. Yeah, so in game, the flag, I've now moved the flag from the files. If you want to know how to do that, obviously, I will leave a link up in the top corner for that video of when we did it. And basically, I've just copied and pasted that file into FM24 location. Now, the thing that I want to do in today's video is I was while I was doing these database changes, I was looking at the teams of how many teams we have in our pool. I think I want my leagues to be bigger. Uh, and the reason behind that is I want to include playoffs um, and I want to show you how to input playoffs. Never done it before, but we are going to copy how like the championship league one, league two are done to obviously get promoted up. Now, to do that, I'm going to have to include some crappy teams into our top division i want to keep it like proper hard and that but i mean a nation league you've got to start from somewhere maybe not 20 maybe we could do 
15. So that's 30 games and they just play each other twice. We're only eight games shy then of what the Premier League does. Then for bottom league, maybe go up to uh, second league, go to 20. And then what? Are, then after that, we can do a regional split like for Vanarama National North and South. And we can do a kind of promotion to uh, one gets promoted and then promotion gets promoted uh, and something like that. But then I don't know how the relegations work in the Vanarama National League of how do they know what North and South ones go down? Because that has to stay balanced. We will need to look at that. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, not probably all in this video, but we will make a start at least. I think our first point of place will be, let's go to clubs. Let's put in our filters. Let's get that all set up and then we can remove for a thousand. I don't think there'll be a thousand clubs for London. If we go to base nation, nation, nation. Now all for local regions, all for cities the clubs are associated to is in for local region of London, which would then therefore go into national of London. London and is, because we don't want London dairy, apply filter. 114. Okay. Fourth a minute, I'll just put that to unlimited. So we've got 114 clubs we can make a structure to. Now I don't think we utilize all of them because if we go down and down, down, and down, it just some of these just say literally canon lower leagues. NW London, never heard of them. But I don't think I want amateurs. Pick up. Who's pick up? London Lions. It's a cool name. I like that name. Um What's this the part? British Airways have a team in Feltham. So for amateur ones, I don't think I want in. But if they're semi-pro, I think always amateur. Riffian casuals. Nice. And then we start getting into our professionals. So Dulwich Hamlet is a professional, but their reputation is down. Then Division 2. So Division 1. So in theory, we could. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, they have the same reputation. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think it's for Vanarama. I think it's all of them in. It's South Vanarama National League. And I don't think they have anything else now. Then it's really low. So that could be our top league. 20. Is that too much? Okay, I've had a thought about it. I'm not going to go big leagues. I'm going to make that 10 and get them to play each other four times. That equals to 38 games, just like for Premiership. And then we're going to do the same for Division 2, which takes us down to get some other Vanarama National League teams in there. We can just make them into professional. And then below that, we'll make a semi-professional league. Do we do it in regionals? We could have West, North, East and South. But then how does that fit into Division 2 of getting them in? I would presume that it would be the lowest place West team would get relegated. Yeah. But how about if the lowest West team gets top of the league and they're the lowest, would they get relegated? I don't know how it's done in Vanarama. Because obviously that's split north and south. Mm, it's interesting, right? I'll have to have a look at that. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to reshape this a little bit. And then we are going to add in playoffs for Division 2. I think that's a good starting point. So let me retweet the teams and I will come back to you. All right, there we go. I have now got 10 teams in each division. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Now we need to change the rules of those divisions to allow those number of teams to be in there. So let's do Division 1. So I've literally gone back to uh, national rules, I think. That is... Not in for full advanced rules yet, but that's fine because we can uh, change it here. 10, 10, and they play each of four. Number of relegation services, just basic rules up for the moment. Number of promotions, none. I mean, points for a win, points for a draw, points for defeat. I don't know why that's not in there, but we changed that already. Contains subdivisions. No, that'd be like for regional staff. So 10, 10, da, 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 da. domestic low. Block teams for promotion, league sorting rules. It's fine for now. Dates. I think that's probably still stuck on from what we've had. I've just noticed this is more rules than what we've ever had, right? And just not going to advanced rules because I'm not in advanced rules. This is just going to London rules and I can select subs here as well. Look. Squad rules. 
or CES. The final any squad rules intended for this competition. Minimal players, over 18s. Does that mean that we can, instead of getting advanced rules, we can remove all homegrown stuff maybe? I've seen quite a lot of people ask me about this. So we change stuff without going into advanced rules. I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked. I don't remember ever seeing this before in just basic rules. Always had to be done in advanced rules. Do we want any restrictions? No. Max squad size. Ooh. Wonder if we add Champions League. Does it then? No. Uh, my dicks. Competitions are here. Don't know. We still got to do reserves and youth as well. But we'll do reserves and youth once we've got full structure done. Okay. You can do playoffs. They've just made this really simple for people to do. Because I remember minimum and maximum number of teams. You used to have to go to advanced rules. They've now brought in some of these advanced rules into just nation rules. wonder what else has happened in Edison. And wow, this is news to me. Dates. Three o'clock kickoff break period. I was going to put a uh, break in. But now that we've got 38 games, I think it should be okay for fixture list. Play each other four times. Points. Television money per club. We haven't put that in yet. Parachute payment. No, okay. Not yet. Prize money. We'll win. Prize money. Specific position. Now, I thought we had that in advanced rules already. I thought I've done that. Didn't we test that last time? Convert to advanced rules. Yes. Acquire a maximum of eight teams for division two. Found ten. You need to change it in here first. 10. 10. Okay. Yeah. You have to do for basics first before you can go in for advanced. Yeah. How about now? I'm just shocked. You just got to bear with me for a sec because this is all changed. Stages. General. Stage. League settings. Yeah. Prize money. That's disappeared. And we said that it had gone all funny. Bad Division 2. League settings. Yeah. That's gone as well. And I'm on 1.1. Why's that disappeared? Last video, we did all this. That is right, right? Prize money. Yeah. Add. Yeah, that's where the positions go. Ah, unless it removes what you've put in if you revert back to basic rules. Has it remembered my points? I'm presuming it remembers for basics. So maybe you set up in basics and then you go advanced. Is that the best idea to do for us? League settings. Points for win. Yeah, they're tick. Revert back to basics. So what 10 got for points. Okay. So do set up for basics first. And then go into it. I am just mind blown right now. Right, let's leave prize money. I'll come, I'll do that for background. I'll add it in here. Yeah, it must be because we reverted it. But we can do playoffs in here. It might just be easier. Don't forget, we do have some ad advanced rule features as well. But then again, if you can do it in here, strange. Okay, I'll do prize money in for background. All right, 10. That's fine. Let's quickly do this. So I'm keen to add in as some sort of playoff in Division 2 for promotion. General. Da, 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 da. Let's just make sure we haven't missed anything. Number of rounds. Contain subdivisions. No. Dates is fine. TV dates. Prize money. We've just missed that out for a minute. Squad rules. We've got nothing there. It's just open ended squads at the moment. We might want to go to for 25 number. I don't know. Then division two. Okay. That's playoffs. We haven't got playoffs in that one. Division two. General. 10. Play each other four points. Promotion places two, relegation places none because we haven't got any. Promotion places two. Ah, crap. Wait. Uh, where's if we go here? We got two. Um, did we go three? It's only ten. I'll uh, keep relegation two, and what we will do is we will put in the number of automatic promotions. So one. Yeah, one. Because we're going to add in a playoff, and that's how they get promoted for the second one, right? Playoff. Okay. Championship playoff, rules or promotion playoff, promote champion. Oh, you can, oh, yeah, to win the league. Maybe we could do that in our top division. Could be cool. Four teams playing off. I think they do that in rugby, don't they? Rugby Premier. So promotion playoff. We want it as a cup. Number of teams in playoff. One goes up, but four. Number of teams promoted from playoff. One. Number of match rules. Extra time penalties. Yeah, that's fine with me. Number of legs. Two. But is that including for final? Do they play two legs in championship? They do, don't they? Yeah. And then a final. And then, oh, should we add a cup as well? Add. Try it. Yeah, FA Cup. Winner qualifies for Continental Cup competition. Yeah. Select competition. What's this? Why can't I select it? Select competition. Only competitions that do not have any teams in the database can be chosen. Oh, I need to set up a competition with no teams. Ah, so it has a ah, get you, I get you. So database, 
competitions ad. Uh, let's call it the London Cup. London Cup. Uh, LC. Let's just choose something. Let's go yellow and a nice blue with trim of black. Nation. Search. Name. Ooh. So we're setting this all up without going advanced rules. Amazing. Continent. Why would I be able to change my constant of the nation? Uh, parent competition. Now that we kind of got it there, uh, if we have by filter, it, it is for London Cup. But if I take that for a minute and just put in name and just say FA Cup, and now we can't find it. Emirates FA Cup, there you go. But how's this set up? Let's have a look. Uh, parent competition, nothing, just reputation. Uh, it's a National Cup 1, domestic main cup, lowest official, none. Parent competition, none. Reputation, I don't know, 100. Trophy type, National Cup 1. Type, domestic top, uh, domestic cup, domestic main cup. That boy it was. Let's have a look. What was FA Cup? Domestic main cup. Yep, yep, yep. No, none of that ticked. Uh, we will probably just copy these as well. 90, 55, 120, 90, 120, 90. And anything else? Winter ball. Okay, we'll put those dates in as well because we've got the same winter, right? And that is 25th of October. And then we've got until 28th of March. Then we will have no VAR, no VAR, anything else. That's it. So now we go back to nation rules. Add FA Cup winner qualifiers. Yeah. Next select competition. Here we go. There you go. London Cup. Next select teams. But can't I? Ah, there you go. Ah, from... ah yes. Divisions, there you go, 20 teams. Next, number of legs, uh, just one. Match rules, match time, penalties, substitution rules, uh, 5 from 12, yeah, 5 from 15. Ooh, 5 from 15, wow. Uh, 5 from 12 in three stops, what, plus one. Match day, Saturday as well, stretches out our season because our match day on season is, so it should push season a bit more. Finish, there we go, we got a cup. Now, will it work? So what we want to do is test rules, how it is. Okay, Division 2 date 1st of June 2000 is not in season date range. Oh, why would it be 1st of June then? Okay, uh, our date range is 10th of August to 15th of May. So where's the dates then? Dates. Yeah, it's got a date range. 10th of August, 15th of May. 10th of August, 15th of May. 10th of August, 15th of May. Oh, God. Don't get it. 1st of June 2023. Ah, 1st of June 2023 is not in season date range. Playoffs, maybe. Uh, dates. So does that mean we just need to move it to 1st of June 2023? Is that all we have to do? 18th of June 2023. Okay. It's, I think it's because of the playoff. 5th of July. But now you're taking for piss. It is taking a piss now. It's no summer break now, really. Unless that's it. 20th of June. Season update day. 20th of six, It must not lie inside season date range. But where's the season date line on that? <laughs> I'm confused. Right, I think what we're going to do is because we've changed how big the season is anyway. Uh, and I can't remember what the original was. I had a feeling this was going to be the case. I'm just going to remove playoffs and remove the cup. And I'm going to put the dates back. See what happens. See, can we get further? So 10th of August should be for start on both. 10th of August, yes. And same on this one, yes. Then, uh, losing my arm, uh, 15th of May. Let's change this back of May. Now, a lot of times I see 2020. Maybe if we put something like this, maybe something like this. Uh, I mean, you see it all the time, right? That way you put just 2020, 15th of May. And I reckon we're going to have to put specific dates in <laughs> okay dates are fine number of teams promoted from division ah yes 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 yes, yes. you are right sorry batman test rules ah and we're fucked again with the dates 15th of may is not a season is not in season date range 2021 ah that's my mess up or oh, maybe that's what i did on ah is that what i did on the other one was it 23 22 no i swear it was 22 23 did i mess up on that yeah because that's okay yeah Oh, maybe that's what the case was. The current nation rules are valid now. Add a playoff. Do I save it? Let's save it before I do anything else. Let's save as and call it 1.2 just in case we need to go back. 
think that's a good bet. We've done quite a bit. Let's take your time, take your time. Right, next step. One, add playoff, promotion playoffs. Now we've done this all already, which is good. Number of teams on playoff, four. Number of teams promoted, one. Map rules, yeah. Number of legs, two. Test rules. Now it screws us over on for date. And we need to expand for dates because we couldn't put in specific dates for the playoffs, which is annoying because I don't know what dates they're putting in. If we can somehow see it, that's where we would probably have to go into advanced rules. What's the point of putting it in here if we can't get further, right? Dates. Okay, so if we can expand this then, let's just do it by a month to 15th of June. Test rules all the way to July. Probably won't like it. Probably because this is now not in scope. Yeah. Yeah, it's a playoff rules. It just doesn't like it, does it? Yeah, okay, fine. I need to look at fixtures. Right, let me load up the game of our version we just saved and see what's going on. All right, hopefully starting a new game is not going to mess around with my saves. Start a new game. Football manager. We want to select 1.2. Um, choose game mode. Original. Advanced setup. And as you can see, we have added in a flag in. Right, and start a game. This is the only thing with editor is a lot of people get stuck because of these errors. They're just like, oh, how do I progress? You know, it's just frustrating. Very, very frustrating. I'm going to start unemployed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. confirm, confirm, start playing. Save. Yes. So if we go to London, Harry Kane, there he is. He is in our team now. After me saying, no, we're not going to, oh, even Saka. Wow, got a great attack. Kane, Shaka, uh, Smith Rowe. Yeah. And they've even kept the caps. I mean, so Harry Kane, he's kept his caps, but London. That's funny. Poor Kane. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Even Joe Gomez. He's born in London. He's a Londoner. Chris Smallin. It's a good little team. I wouldn't mind actually doing a save where I'm, Eng uh, where I'm England, where I'm the national manager of London. Okay. So if we go back to Division One. So still got our two, got 10. And then we go to division two. We got our two there. If we go to rules, there's no money wins because that got raised, which is a little bit annoying. Start day 19th of August to 18th of May. Arsenal, good schedule. And okay, it's 18th of May. So for league starts, that is your fixtures. I mean, it looks a little bit better where they got four or five games per week. As you can see it's if all, always on a Saturday because there's nothing else in the way. Yeah, we need to work around this league schedule, right? Just try and work out how to do it. We might have to copy some bits from another division. Again, we utilize Premiership or Championship. It's 38 games. They play each other four times. It's quite sporadic as well. It's not too bad. I mean, Millwall, Palace, West Ham. Millwall, Palace, West Ham, Millwall, Palace, West Ham. Okay, I don't like that. It's the same order every time. Fulham, Brentford, Chilton. Fulham, Brentford, Chilton. Okay, so um, do list is um, schedule schedule pattern. Needs to change. More random. Yeah, I don't like that. More random. It's too, it's, yeah, I want it to be more all over the place. But then pre-season looks like it starts 18th of July. I don't know if that's the earliest one. Actually, we've started 17th of July, so that must be for earliest. Season starts 17th of July. Don't know what it ends. I would guess 18th of May. Okay, now that we've got some of these dates, I think that's all I need at the moment to try and build in how playoffs is going to sit in Cup. And we might just have to build it in using advanced rules, but doing for scheduling a bit better maybe and doing specific dates. And it might have to be on a weekday. I love to again. I love to look at other competitions. Right, give me one second. I'm gonna jump back over to for editor. Okay, so we're back in for editor. We're just gonna look at these dates for a sec. So in game, the season start date was 17th of July, and we've got 10th of August. A bit weird. And the last game of the season was on 18th of May, and they've got 15th of May. So it hasn't condensed it. So it starts sooner. The preseason starts and it kicked off from the 19th of august that's not even listening to my dates is that because it couldn't fit it in is this what is this the same dates as supremacy don't think we can check that now can we mm, very strange okay look we tried we've updated our 10 and 10 we've tried doing the blouse we've tried doing cuts but we're stuck on for dates so what i need to do 
I know, I know that we didn't do much in this video, but I think it was just good to find find stuff because at the end of the day, if we don't find the stuff, we implement and we get stuck and we got stuck. But I need to go away and have a look at another nation, maybe take some of the details down. And then in our next video, we are going to implement playoffs and a cut and get it right in our schedule. So today was about rearranging for structure, seeing if we could input playoffs and cups. We couldn't, but in the next video, we will. So if you like this video, you know what you need to do, hit that like button. And if you would like to continue watching the series, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on for the next one.